Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. In this presentation, we will discuss what autism spectrum disorder is, the signs and symptoms of autism, the relationship between autism and epilepsy, genetic factors, and treatment. After our presentation, please like our presentation and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We appreciate your support. Autism is a developmental disorder that can affect social, emotional, and communication abilities of a person. The term spectrum refers to a wide variety of mental disorders that have differing levels of symptoms and disability. The severity of autism can range from being fully independent to needing assistance with everyday life activities. Many with autism spectrum disorder show signs in their childhood and how they learn, react, and their attention span. Examples are not showing interest in age-related objects, having trouble relating to others, or not have an interest in other people at all avoid eye contact and want to be alone, having trouble understanding people's feelings or talking about their feelings, appear to be unaware when people talk to them but respond to other sounds, repetitive behaviors, and having trouble adapting when a routine changes. Individuals with autism experience seizures at a higher rate. In cases of children with autism, ages 13 and older, epilepsy was present in 26% compared to 1% of the general population. 80% of children with autism spectrum disorder have abnormal EEG results. The abnormal activity could have been a correlation to the severity of autism, but more research is needed. Individuals with autism experience seizures at a higher rate. In cases of children with autism ages 13 and older, epilepsy was present in 26% of cases compared to 1% of the general population. 80% of children with autism spectrum disorder have abnormal EEG results. The abnormal activity could have a correlation to the severity of autism, but more research is needed. Both autism spectrum disorder and epilepsy have genetic factors that can result in the development of neurological disorders. Currently, there are 50 genes and numerous variations that can predispose someone to autism spectrum disorder. Although autism spectrum disorder and epilepsy have an association, there is an unlikely chance that there is one pathophysiological reason for them to occur. There is no specific treatment in treating autism and epilepsy together. Each one is treated on an individual basis. According to the Center for Disease Control, there is no treatment that has been shown to cure autism spectrum disorder. Applied behavior analysis, assistive technology, relationship-based approach, occupational therapy, speech therapy, social skills training, and nutrition can be effective treatments. For individuals suffering from seizures, anticonvulsant medication is one option for treatment. The keto diet is another option for those who do not respond to medication. In conclusion, autism is a developmental disorder that can affect social, emotional, and communication abilities of a person. Many with autism spectrum disorder show signs in their childhood in how they learn, react, and their attention span. Individuals with autism experience seizures at a higher rate compared to the general population. Both autism spectrum disorder and epilepsy have genetic factors that can result in the development of neurological disorders. There is no specific treatment in treating autism and epilepsy together. Each one is treated on an individual basis. To learn more about autism spectrum disorder and epilepsy, please check out the resources used in our presentation today. 
Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy. Check out our other great videos on our channel and subscribe today. You have the power to defeat epilepsy.